I've had some locations that make like 3,000 a month. And yeah, that's a very go. good stack, I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot of drinks, man. Let's see how much money you made today from your fleet of vending machines. So far, the day hasn't ended, but we're at... All right, y'all, we made it all the way out here to Texas. I'm here with my boy, Jaime, and today he's gonna break down how he built his vending machine empire, bro. What's up? What's up, you guys? I'm Jaime, I run a vending machine business. I got about 35 vending machines throughout my entire city. I also sell exotic snacks from around the world online. But yeah, I'm excited to show you my snacks and also a few of my vending machines on locations. I wanna break down all of this, but first, let's go check out one of these vending machines. Let's go, I got some good ones. Let's all check right, them out. Let's get it. Have you ever seen the inside of a vending machine? Never. No? Let's do it. How did you get your first machine though? How did you get started in the vending machine? Game? So I actually started my vending business like three months after I graduated high school. I had about maybe like 5K saved up. I had $5,000 yeah, just 5, from selling chips yeah. in high school. Yeah. Wow. Well, I, I had like friends sell chips for me. So yeah. And then I would pay them at the end of the week. I found a seller that was selling a machine already placed on location, which is good because I didn't have to like find the location for it. I paid 4,000 for the machine already on location. So I was making money from day one. But a week later after I bought it, the manager from that location calls me. He's like, hey, we don't want the machine here no more. You got seven days to come and take it out. Wow, no refund or nothing. You no, no, no. It. I didn't have like a garage to bring it back. So for like the next two days, I literally sat in my room and I called hundreds of businesses until I found one. And I put it in the barbershop and I still have that location to this day. That's amazing, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna fill up a snack machine today. Come on, let's get it. The machine's all filled up, man. It's looking nice. So, how much do you make off a machine like this? It is one of my slowest ones that I was telling you about because some of them do make a lot more. We always like to feel the weight. If it's heavy, you know, there's a good amount of stacks in there, but. Yeah. What you got? He's gonna guess the number. Uh, I'd say like a good 30. I'm gonna say like 30, 35. I'm gonna go 40. All right, let's see what we got in here, man. Yeah, Damn, that's a pretty yeah, good stack, I'm not gonna lie. We were all way off, 90. Oh, oh, Whoa. <laughs> Bro, that's in two weeks and just cash, not even including credit card sales, so that's good. Let's see if just coins. That's impressive. I mean, we're at my boy's shop, right? I mean, this is a window tinting shop. It's not a ton of like thousands of people coming through here and like right. to bring in that in two weeks is impressive. Yeah, nice little stack. Next up, you want to go fill up another machine, but we got to go stop and get some materials, right? Yeah, we're going to go buy some more product in the next location. Hopefully, bigger stack. All right, let's get it. Thank I want to know more about you guys day to day though with running this business. What does an average day look like for you? So right now since we just moved into the warehouse and we don't have all the shelves set up for the product We have to go and buy the product the same day we go and fill up the machine. We wake up early and we're gonna be filling up machines around 5 6 a.m. So we can get to the warehouse get whatever product we have ready there and then go to Sam's and Walmart to get all the extra product that we don't already have. It does take quite a while because I live in a pretty big city in Dallas Fort Worth. Some locations are like one hour apart. That's what takes up the most time is the driving. Walmart is where we get all of our flavored soda because we do go to Sam's Club for most of the stuff but Sam's Club only sells like regular Coke, Dr. Pepper and Sprite but all the flavored stuff like Lemonade, fruit punch, we do get it from here. Shout out yeah. to Walmart. Yeah, shout out to Walmart. Hopefully <laughs> never, you know, raise the prices. <laughs> Yeah, no, every time I go to the bank with like 5, 10K and all ones, they'd be like, what do you do? <laughs> Just left Walmart, pretty much filled up this whole cart. How much do you think you'll bring in off this much soda right here? Well, the product cost alone was like $55, but like I said, I do at least double my money. So maybe like 130, I'll probably make off of it. Go we'll put this in the machine right now. Yeah, we're gonna go fill up a vending machine that I got on location and collect some money too. Let's do it. All right, Jaime brought me to one of his best locations and we're gonna walk inside and see how much it's doing. This is one of my better spots. We filled up this machine seven days ago and it's almost empty. And we fill it up to the very back. I like the sound. <laughs> yeah. It's like loading a gun or something. Quick ASMR. <laughs> Probably go right for the Good job. Don't worry, let's do another one. Just finished up my shift as a vending machine operator. How did I do? You did pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, for your first time. With these vending machines, how much cash is sitting in here right now, man? All right, so over here, we got the bill acceptor. That's where all the bills go. You put the bills in through the front in there, and then they just end up in the magazine. Oh, this is pretty heavy, actually. I'm gonna open it up. It's a lot of drinks, man. Not bad, not bad. Not a bad stack. For Always Santa. fives in there too. Yeah. Let's grab the stack from this one and then we'll add it up. Let's do it. If you go to a random machine in public, is there like some code or something that you can put in to like get in or don't? <laughs> you do. You have to type in pound six nine six nine pound star 
and you get something for free. Try it now out. Now you guys heard it here first. <laughs> and boom. One week of vending machine sales in cash. I'm saying right there. Is Actually, the before you guess, okay. if you guess to the exact dollar, I'll give you this whole stack. Okay, but at least you're real quick. <laughs> it has to be to the exact dollar though. This right here is $137. That you finally guess? Yes. <laughs> What's the total? Exactly 176. Wow. In a week? In a week, yeah. not including the cards though. Man, this is a great business right here, bro. But I know you have another business that you're in right now, the exotic snacks. Let's go to the warehouse. Let's check out a little bit about that business because that one is sick to me. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. Right now, we're here at the Exotic World Warehouse, which is Jaime's second business. Yep. What do you guys do here? So we import snacks from around the world. It's all the brands you guys know, Lay's, Fanta, Cheetos, but in other countries, they make flavors that the USA doesn't. So we import them to the US and sell them on our website. And this business is doing pretty good now, right? More than vending, but you'll see. <laughs> yeah, let's go check it out. Come on, let's do it. All right, so this first room, this is where we keep all the snacks. We just right. moved in a couple months ago, so we're still working on setting everything up, but I have about maybe 50, 60 different types of chips alone. Salted, Salted eggs, eggs, roasted garlic, oyster lamb, flavor. Lace crab, <laughs> some weird stuff. I mean, again, all other countries make all these weird flavors. Man, how do you even source this stuff? So there's not really like one place you can go to buy all this stuff. My biggest struggle was finding people overseas that I can like build a connection with and they just send me all the product and then that's basically it. That's the hardest part, finding somebody. Which are your most popular that you sell out of all these snacks? Lay's ghost pepper. Have you had ghost pepper before? Nah, should I try one for the camera? Do it right now. <laughs> all right, y'all, I do not eat spicy food like that. <laughs> We're gonna take two of these chips. They're not as bad as you think, but they are pretty spicy. It's starting to build up. Yeah, it's like that after kick. It like yeah. keeps up on you. Yeah. <laughs> Are you good? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, okay, I know you're dying over there because of the chip. I got something that might help. Come okay, on. Okay, okay. We have everything from like Fanta yogurt. That's pretty crazy from Japan. Mm -hmm. Fanta melon, and then over here we got the Fanta jasmine and peach. These look really good, and you know, I think for the people watching this, they might want to try this out, so maybe we should make them a box. I think that's a good idea. You want to give away like a big box for the snacks? Let's do a box of snacks and chips. Let's oh, fill it up. There you go to the box. We're going to fill it up right now for you guys. <laughs> yeah. We just put together a box of crazy snacks from Bro, all around the world. Stuff in there. Crazy stuff. Hubba Bubba M&M's. Make sure you put the ghost pepper in there so you guys can try it too. Pikachu Oreos, we got everything. So look, if y'all want to enter this giveaway, all you got to do is click the link in the description to see our posts together on Instagram. Drop a comment, follow me and Jaime, and you're entered. We're going to pick a giveaway winner very soon, and you get all these snacks. Good luck. Hey, so now I want to break down the sales. Okay. This is what everybody wants to know. We want to know how much Exotic World makes and how much we made from those vending machines all day so far the day hasn't ended but we're at $1,035 got 16 orders in total just off the snacks and yeah the just in snacks and drinks for the last 30 days we're looking at 33,000 we did better last month by 28% but yeah not bad I do average 30 to 40 per month so I think now is the time. Let's see how much money you made today from your fleet of vending machines. Some locations are open 24 seven, so it's not gonna be the full amount, but mm. to, to the time right now, we're at $495 with 30 cents. So it's not uncommon for you to make 400 to $500 a day. No, your... I always hit at least like 450. That's amazing, yeah. bro. So we're at 500 right now. By the end of the day, hopefully we probably get to like 550, maybe 600. Yeah, killing it, bro. Man, thank you so much, bro, for showing us around. Of course. Listen, if you guys want to check out my boy's YouTube channel, the link will be down below. And if you want to enter to win this amazing box of exotic snacks, <laughs> the rules are in the description below. Jaime, thank you again, bro. Of course. Thank you again. Thank you. <laughs> See you guys next video. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you later, bro. Yeah, you have a good one. Yeah, sure.